Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Flash Hazardous. Over here, we love all things roguelite and coming at you today with another sweet, sweet smelling, unedited Hades run. Now, you guys might be saying, wait, wait, this isn't this isn't synthetic too. No. Today we Hades, boys. Now, let me be clear, guys. I completely respect and appreciate all of you who watch and subscribe to my content because it's s2 focused synthetic 2 focused and i just want you to let you guys know that i'm still fully committed to delivering s2 memes shorts and gameplays but today i thought why not why not just change it up a bit so we're gonna play one of my favorite roguelites of all time i've got over 200 300 hours in this game i think because I thought a little bit of variety is the spice of life, boys. Now, don't worry, we'll be back to Synthetic 2 content tomorrow. There's a planned release of the booster update. And we're going to make sure that once that goes on the live build of the game, we'll 100% be playing through that. But without any further delay, let's jump right into Hades. Now, I thought what I would do here is start a completely fresh run now i'm not going to go into hell mode i'll explain the reasons for that later hell mode uh, activates some of the packs of punishment that are not that fun uh, i'd rather do high heat runs on this game without some of those modifiers just because they tend to drag the game out so completely fresh save few tales are we told go. of hades whose very name inspires fear and penitence reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Don't you just love that narration? Goodbye, father. Love it. For those of you that don't know Hades, I mean, you guys must have been living under a rock for all this time because it is it is one of the best roguelites ever made. I am thrilled to be playing this with you guys, and I just can't wait to show you, I guess, the entire storyline of Hades. Now, like I said, we're going to see how this content flows, whether you guys like this. If you do, we'll stick around with it. If you don't, we might shift it up. I mean, who knows? But in the end, I just thought that a nice goal for this game would be for us to finish at least the main storyline. And I mean, I've done it a couple of times already. It shouldn't take too many runs. I'm going to try challenge myself. Go for a few less a few less runs to achieve it than usual. I th believe it's nine runs to complete the entirety of the Hades storyline. And I think we're going to try... We're definitely going to try and do that in faster time than the 14 runs I achieved last time. Right, so... Just get rid of these guys we've already got it done i've got to do something really quickly boys i want to just really quickly mix up my controls here i do believe i had my special rebound to mouse button four that should work there we go right so let's listen to athena it's got to be her then here goes nothing <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Let's get her a boon. For anyone playing for the first time, I would highly recommend picking up Divine Dash. It is one of the best abilities to get early on. I know you can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. Especially when you have only a single dash. We're not getting any hammers of Daedalus either. So it's going to be really tough to play. It's nice to have an ability that deflects. Now, I'll talk a bit more generally about Hades for those of you that don't know about it. I'm pretty sure all of you do. If you are fans of S2, you should be fairly acquainted with like the roguelite friend, the roguelite genre, and therefore with a game like this. But one thing I absolutely love about Hades, fast frenetic gameplay. I mean, look at this. And Enjoy art style's death. absolutely amazing. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I think something happened with my audio over there. I hope it's still connected. Right, okay. All right. So, as I was saying, um, amazing game, great art style, 
fast, frenetic, and pacey combat. Just so many good things rolled up into one. And then probably one of the most unique things about Hades is that it's one of the very few it's one of the very few roguelites that absolutely managed to nail the story. And you've you've got to love super giant games. I mean they've just they've always made highly stylized games, amazing storylines, and just generally lovable characters. I mean, I can't remember a super giant game that wasn't good. And you think Think all the way back. Think to Transistor. That'll keep me going for a bit. Uh, Pyre was really good, even though it was one of the weaker release. Bastion. I mean, who hasn't played Bastion? If you guys haven't played Bastion, you've got to check that game out. One of the best games I've ever played as well. Not a roguelite, but one of the best story-driven narrative games you ever see. And again, they bring that narrative element into Hades. And that's what makes Hades such an amazing game. It's just, it manages to get almost absolutely everything right. Except for a few a few issues I've got with kind of the way the difficulty curve works. And we'll talk about that as we play this, right? But for now, let's just just have fun. Kill these shades. You'll notice I am playing with uh, mouse and keyboard. For some reason, find that a lot more comfortable than a controller, even though it is recommended to play this with a controller. Apologies, boys. I keep having to restart the audio engine for some reason. It keeps switching off for me. I hope you're not hearing it on your end. It will mean sometimes I have to jump out to cut some of the 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 noise because um, my sound's cutting out. Anyway, back to the game. Let's jump right in. Let's get ourselves another heart. Early game, you really want as much healing as you can possibly get your hands on. So, always happy to pick up a heart. Great that we have the deflect. We can do this and just end up killing the enemies that we run into over here. Yeah, nice. And we're doing really well. Good speed as well. Right, now, what do we go for? Some gold? Or do we pick up on... Oh, I don't know if we want Ares spoons early on. Will it work for anything, really? Maybe for our main... For our main, uh, uh, or whatever that ability is called. Mm. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? First run. We don't have many expectations. Let's just have fun. Highly unlikely that we end up winning this first run, guys. But, you know, we'll definitely try. Oh! <laughs> didn't, didn't want that to happen. Right. A little bit of damage. We're okay, though. We're okay. No harm done. Oh! Let's get it with a couple of backstabs. Get away. Looking good. Right. Get away. And we're good. Right. What are we picking up from Ares? In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Right. What are we getting? You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing. And yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Ares is like the weird uncle of the family, right? Has has this really weird obsession with death. Okay, so what are we going for? I would typically like to go with an attack. Uh, because early game and early run without darkness, which is a, a currency you a mass that you can spend to improve your character you don't get a heck of a lot of damage i think that i think we'll go with something i think we might just do the blade rift i mean i don't like the attack not on a not on the shield on, not on the sword that we have right now so we'll just go with slicing shot we're not going to use this all that much but you know what let's just play like i said play have fun we're likely not going to win this round guys Quite difficult to beat, to beat H Lord Hades in the absolute first run. Right. Let's get out of here. There we go. Good stuff. Making some very good speed over here, guys. And I think we're going to keep, we're going to start trying to unlock as much 
darkness in the first run so we can get our second um so that we can get our second our second sprint or dash should i say oh took a little bit of damage there it's okay these guys don't do that much damage good stuff Took a bit of damage there as well. We should probably play a little bit more conservatively than what we are right now. There's no need to be as aggressive, but I do want to. I do want to make some good time on this run, guys. Don't want it this to be too long. So, what are we going for next? Maybe a little bit more gold. I don't like heading into the mega fight without. Ooh, I don't even know how to bring up the menu. There we go. B. Um, I don't like going into the first boss fight the mega fight without a attack boon but it looks like we're we're headed that way maybe we can pick something up from sharon's shop i don't know if we really need a palm of power because i don't like either of the abilities that we've got so let's just pick up some pick up some gold i mean don't get me wrong i do i do love i do love what we've got in terms of this um I do love what we've got in terms of the the divine dash. The only I just don't like upgrading it. I think it's fine as in its base stage because the whole real good thing about this ability is the is the fact that you can deflect. There we go. <clears throat> Give me down. Okay, let's just be careful here. Like I said, no no reason to unnecessarily lose health at the beginning. There we go. good stuff and we've got some more gold we're happy we're healthy let's carry on shall we give me one second oh just guys if you see me doing that every once in a while it's because my sound is cutting out for some reason i can't i can't seem to fix it i'll figure it out though right we have a dionysius boon coming okay Got some elite, well, got some armored enemies here. Always a bit dangerous. Don't want to get hit here. Oh. Uh, let's get them both hit. Ooh. Ooh. Deflected that one. Now we got him. We got his armor down. Should be an easy takedown. There we go. What do we have next? Let's get this out. Oh. Deflected it again. Good stuff. Oh. Get out of here. And we're good. Let's get one more kill over here. There we go. That sound. That was revelry. People having a good time. Well, sure that you know who it is, guys. Olympus you know who it is. to get here with the rest of us already we've been saving you a spot let me see what i can do make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime gotta love denisis such a chad love him love him okay after party don't like don't need the the threshold unfortunately positive outlook taking less damage again don't like damage resist in hades you basically just want to end up getting overpowered with your with your attack drunken flourish special inflicts hangover this is okay not not a huge fan of this you can't stack it multiple times you're not going to get a hammer of daedalus that can give us the double the double special blast um but you know what it's the best thing that we've got here so let's just go for that leave it to the cut of wine to liven things up around here okay, okay. let's keep going boys so like i said we want we want to keep getting the darkness so that we can upgrade our dash. We want a double dash at the end. You're gone. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we're looking good over here. Okay, so cleared up that room again. And now we're getting another piece of darkness. Again, we have the shop unlocked now. So this is just before the Megara fight, I believe. 
That is true. If I can find the right button to check my boons and check the chamber. Chamber 13 is going to be the first boss. Uh, 14 is going to be the first boss. So we're going to run in over here. And hopefully, yes, we shall definitely get one of these. Just give me a second, guys, again. I think we're having a few issues over here with the recording. And we're back. I'm losing sound, but apparently the recording's not being impacted. So that doesn't matter. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. All right. So let's meet Sharon, shall we? Why, well, good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights. And hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? Then I'll just have a look around. Did I say Ares was the weird uncle? Yeah, guys, I think Sharon's the weird uncle. 100%. Okay, so what are we going for here? We don't really need the healing. We should be good. Another heart would be quite nice. We might as well pick up the the Dionysus boon as well. So let's do that. Oh, we're just going to be a little bit short, aren't we? We're going to be short by five. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. A good thing now. I actually don't know what to pick up here. I think we're going to go with the boon. Why not? I'll pay for that. So don't want the strike. Deal more damage while three or more foes are hangover inflicted. That's not bad. We can pick that one up. I think we pick that one up. The other two are not. I'm not a big fan. I'm really not a big fan of the uh, the drunken strike. Okay. Bad influence. Cheers, Picked up. Mate. We're good. Let's go fight Meg. Meg, 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 Meg. Meg, Meg. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? Oh, this dialogue is so good. Painful way. We always go with the painful way on this channel, boys. Max pain, always. Unlucky. She is through her first phase. Oh, almost. Oh, want to get away from that. Good stuff, weird stuff, going well. Man! <laughs> really doing me for a quick spin over there on some of these. Okay, but we're doing well. We should be okay. Got more than enough healing at the moment. Just need to keep be careful that we don't take more damage than we should, like with these things. Right. And she's through her second phase, and we took damage there for no reason. Okay. Just keep hitting her, and we should be fine. Good stuff. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, very close there to getting hit, but we're still good, we're still good. Got hit by, unfortunately, over there. But we should be fine. That should be it. She's gone. One of many kills. We're going to be getting on poor old Meg Meg. Okay. Took a bit too much damage, i got to say. But you know what? Other than that, I can't be I can't be too critical. It is the first run, after all. So we're getting 20 back over here. That's good. We might get some extra healing from the shop. And we do. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Back to full healing. We're not going to purge any of the boons that we've got. I think I'm happy with what we have. Let's move on. Shall we? To... Tartarus? It is Tartarus, right? It is Tartarus? Now we're getting somewhere. Asphodel. Man, Tartarus just came out of... Where is my Hades Law? And scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. 
I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. Unfortunately, therefore, when you step on lava, you get burnt. Okay. <clears throat> so we still don't have an attack boon, which is really disappointing for this level. It means it's going to be just a little bit, a little bit harder than it should be, really, to kill some of these enemies because we don't have that strong a special and we don't have that strong of a of an attack. So it is definitely going to end up being a bit of a challenge to get a couple of kills over here, or at least quick kills, right? Without, without some, without some pain. Took a little bit of damage there, it's okay, just one. Lava's not that bad, typically. And that should be enough to kick him out. Nice, okay. As long as we keep mixing in that special, I think we've got, we've got the damage to keep us going here. We did get an epic damage boon in the end. Oh, really want to get another god for the, for the attack. I don't want the doom attack. You know, we might just be getting to that point where we, ha we just have to take, we're just gonna have to take it, I think. <clears throat> okay we should be able to deal with these guys fairly easily there we go one down another down oh almost took the damage there took a bit more damage there again unfortunately what do we have here now okay taking bits of damage that we don't really need to be taking in the world where did he come from okay get out of here oh oh again yeah out of here and we didn't want to take that damage he kind of saw us coming there though unfortunately are we good we're good we're good okay what are we getting you know what i don't mind curse of vengeance that's quite nice. If we take hits, we inflict doom. Doom deals 140 damage to people around us. That's good. Okay. Fine. I'm happy with that. I still want an attack boon that's not crappy. Maybe we need to just get an Athena one. Okay. So. This is why. This is why you love deflect, guys. Right here. Right here. Watch this. That is so nice. Just being able to dash through that without any fear. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Nice. One down. Another one down. And we should get the kill here quite quickly. Oh, really good there. Lucky there in the end. Look what I found. Right, so I can't wait, guys, to start doing some really high heat runs. I mean, like I said, I absolutely enjoy this game. And getting to some really high heat levels is something I've never done in the game. I haven't gotten up to like 20, 30 heat before. It'd be quite nice to actually do that. So, where are we going next? Hmm. Okay. Not sure, actually. We could definitely afford to go to the store, but I think we're just gonna... Are we gonna go with the crit attacks? Why not? Let's just do crit attacks. Not a huge a huge fan of Artemis on the, sh on the sword, but, you know... Why don't we just go for the hardest fight, right? That's a problem. Right, this could be really dangerous. We're gonna try to take out the... Whatever you call this guy. a bit of damage there it's okay though come on we did unfortunately end up hitting that yeah okay we're good we're still good oh 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 we gotta get out of there we gotta get out of there oh, and we didn't get out of there damn it man that's the that's the combo with this guy they end up uh hitting you with the with those things that end up causing you to freeze and then you end up you end up taking the damage from the Whatever you want to call those things. Right. Is she going to come back? This is another annoying thing. Runs just get extended because she ends up running away. Like, when you can't reach. Ugh, taking way too much damage, man. 
Oh, unfortunate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Man, she is just, she's so charmed. I can't get a, I can't get a decent attack off on her. Come on. This way, this way, there we go. There we go. Uh, that should be enough, right? There we go. Finally. Definitely not worth it. Holy moly, took too much damage there. Well, several really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Here we go. Here's Artemis. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Artemis is like the the hippie trendy, slightly awkward friendly girl next door i <laughs> hope that was a good enough explanation <laughs> right let's go for deadly strike over here not 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 a hundred percent happy with it but you know why not sounds like good company to keep why not we have probably gotten a more powerful attack but we'll see how this pans out for us at least it was a rare boon in the end okay and now we got gorgons Right, so we got, yeah, good, we're good. Okay, that was quick work. Right, so what do we got here? Oh, dealing good damage. Really good damage. Get that out there. Nice stuff. Got our darkness. What are we looking for now? We really need to get some healing. We really do need to get some healing. We could go for a heart over there. Which I don't think is too bad. Palm would be quite nice. Palm would be really nice actually. I just feel like we need to keep stacking up health. We, we're going to find a hard time recovering the 60 that we lost. So I just think we keep stacking the health. <clears throat> stack the health and maybe get a couple of decent boons off the back and i think we should be okay oh these guys there we go we're good do we have anyone else coming yes we do dead as well good stuff pick this up oh And die. There we go. Oh! Almost went into way too far into the lava over there. Right, so he's dead. And I think we're good. We're good over here. We're going to have the skull crusher come down. But we're not too worried about that. Keep doing the dash attacks. Keep getting crit hits over here like we've been getting. We've been quite lucky with that. Right. Okay, and another one down. And he's going to try attack us, but we're good distance away. And we should be able to get this fight fairly quick. It is dragging on a little bit longer than I would like, but... Oh, there we go. It was bound to happen with me dashing into them like that. Okay. More healing. We're happy with that. Can we find... Can we find anything else in terms of healing... I don't think... I think you actually... Yeah, if I remember correctly, you need to unlock the wells of Charon. And there you might be able to buy healing. But until then, you're pretty screwed, actually. So, how close are we to... We're close to the next... So, we're going to fight Lerny next. Let's jump into the store and see if we can't get some healing. Which would be much appreciated. Hit me, Charon. Hit me. Yes, there we go. Good healing. Good boy, Charon. Saves you in the moment of need. And I think we can honestly just pick up both of these again. So we'll pick up the power up. Boosted a boon. We've got Drunken Flourish. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, that's pretty darn good. I mean, it is, a, it is an epic ability. And we did get an extra two ticks. Two damage of Hangover every 0.5 seconds. So that's pretty strong. Pick up the boon as well. 
rest into a boat of more substantial size if he's to keep up with my work, my kin. Yeah. Right. Your blade rift effects last longer, pulls foes in. That's a really good one. Blade rift, we've only got one charge of our cast at the moment, so it's not that strong. So black metal, your blade rift effects deals damage in a wider area. That's okay. And then battle range after slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals more damage. It's not bad either, actually. I think we go with that because it's going to be the most impactful in a fight to fight basis. <clears throat> and we're going to fight Lurnie. Lurney, the happy snake of Asphodel. Um, hello? Oh, great. Oh. Come on. No attack? Yeah. Oh, why did I get hit there? That's unfortunate. Ooh, lucky on that one. Okay, what's he going to do? More? Yeah. Man, it feels so weird not not having the ability to to dash twice. It's so unnatural. So Lurney should be fairly easy to beat. There we go. The head. Okay. Another one down. Yeah. Try. Right, let's just keep applying dots on him. Oh, nice. This should put him into the next stage. And we should fight the, the final round of heads here. We'll be good with that as well. We just need to get rid of them fairly quickly. We don't want to fight too many heads at once over here. Oh! Lucky we didn't take too much damage over there, I think. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> we just said that and then we got hit with massive damage. Okay, but we're good still. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. And that's why we absolutely love this ability, guys. We absolutely love the ability uh, of Divine Dash. Just because of the amount of extra iframes it gives you. It's so powerful. Okay, that should kill another head. And we left the last one. We haven't taken too much damage. I'm fairly happy. We've been decently aggressive in this fight. Oh! There we go. Final stage of learning. And three head smashes. And then we just go in, do damage. Keep applying the dot. And three more head bashes, and then we keep applying the dot. Gonna do another attack. We get behind the pillar. Another three head bops. Keep applying the dot, and we're done. We're doing well here, boys. Any more heads you'd like chopped off? No? Get the diamonds, and we're moving ahead. On to Elysium. And Elysium is going to be our run ender for sure. For sure. Okay, what are we getting here? Oh, I'll take Ignited, it Ignited Ica. Gives us 20% movement speed for 8 encounters. Very nice. I'll take that. I'm happy with that, actually. This is not a bad one to take, just to keep... Um, a little bit of sustainability going because we are going to take some damage in Elysium. It's not that expensive either. The yarn might not be a bad idea. I think we just take all three. I'll just take Do this that. One. Why not? We don't need the healing, so why not spend it? In the bag. 
hopefully get a really strong boon uh, and maybe can replace our attack boon with that. If we can find a decent one, like maybe a, an Athena attack boon that's upgraded. That'd be really strong. Okay, so into Elysium. Let's just quickly enjoy the view, boys. Lovely place to have to smash my way through. Oh, I just love everything about this game. Aesthetics, dialogue, gameplay. So a few things come close to Hades. Okay, so now we're going to start fighting some pretty tough foes. Do not like these guys. And it's especially tough with a class like this that is with a sword where you don't have a heck of a lot of... Um... The problem with the sword, guys, is that it's so unsafe in Elysium. And by unsafe, I mean there's no way you can avoid... Sometimes just no way that you can avoid damage with the way some of these guys attack. Oh, and then there's just the stupidity sometimes. Okay, let's move this way. Let's probably get over here. Let's get that one out. Oh. Get that attack all. Nice. We got rid of that. Butterflies. Try get these guys to come this way. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> I hit myself. I'm doing so much damage. Being such an idiot. Oh. Oh, so much damage for no reason. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can get that attack boon from Athena. Man, that was unfortunate. Now we're going to have to play a bit more conservatively again. Don't like doing it because I like keeping the pace and the tempo up with the runs. Right. So. Keep these guys at a distance. Ah! What? Rearming? Unlucky. There we go. Oh, almost got hit there again. There we go. Hit him. Nice. And down. Right? Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we got three ticks off over there. Oh, thought I took damage there. I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Get rid of the swordsman. Get over and over here. Get rid of the butterfly ball. Okay. We should be fine here now. Oh, oh almost got hit there. But we're good. And I think we didn't take any damage. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, what are we getting from you, Lady Athena? We're getting... Brilliant Replast, which gives us extra deflect damage. Not bad. Blinding Fast, your abilities can deflect and make foes exposed, which gives us extra backstab damage. I don't know how much backstab damage we do now. I don't think we do any without the mirror. And then Holy Shield, after we take damage, uh, we damage foes around us and briefly deflect. I think we're going to take the deflect attack, dealing more damage. Like again, hopefully we'll get something that replaces the, uh, the Artemis attack. So I'm not a big fan of it on the sword. Okay, what are we going to next? Uh, let me just see something quickly. Did we pick up all the healing? Yeah, we did. I think our healing went up. Did it go up? We took, we got some of our health back. Okay, let's go with a POM over here. Yeah, let's do a POM. Be ballsy. We should really go for health. But... Oh, not long spears. Oh! Nice. There we go. And we're good there. And he's dead. Don't let him recover. And we're good. Okay. Ugh. Okay, we got some healing there again. That's good. And we should get rid of his buddy over there, which we did. It's fine. Oh, walked right into that one. We've got to get rid of all those 
witches as quickly as possible just to make the fight against these guys a lot easier. And there we go. Took a little bit of damage, but really not that bad. We actually ended up getting uh, a net increase in the end. Do we still have our... No, we don't. So we've lost our healing ability. Got to be a bit more careful now. <clears throat> what are we going for here? Do we keep going on the Drunken Flourish? I feel like level 3 with one extra tick of damage on every 0.5 seconds doesn't feel that impactful. Maybe the Battle Rage is a good one to go for here. Yeah, let's go for that. Probably overall, we do more damage with the, uh, uh, what do you call it, with the Drunken Flourish, but I don't know. Just go with what we went with there. So we don't need the healing for now, we, uh, the money for now. We've got cash. Let's pick up another boon. Any incremental increases in your first run are great. Doesn't matter what they are, really, because you're so weak in your first runs in this game. Oh, oh, we've got our favorite, guys. We've got the bows. Oh, good. Good stuff. The bows are one of the worst things to fight early on when you don't have the dashes to get to them quickly. Okay. Get rid of that. Oh, oh, we took the damage, unfortunately. Tried not to. Oh. Nice. Oh, we've got a... The unenviable task of killing all of these before they end up regenerating. And we did. That's good stuff. What are we getting? Okay. Critical damage nearby foes marked. Your critical damage, more damage to armor. And after you cast or hit with an attack or special fire seeking arrow, I like that one. That'll work. All right. So do we need healing? Not yet. We can pick. We might want to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like the next fight, if we fight, if we go for a difficult fight here, so this, this can be the butterfly boss fight, where it, you have a butterfly boss in the middle and it endlessly spawns um, uh, the Elysium guys around him until you kill him. It's really tough, not worth going for when you're this low powered. I'd rather just see if I can get something from the shop that can heal me up, even though it's not going to be the most impactful chamber. I'd rather go for it this way. You see, we get the healing, which is great. We, we can't pick anything else up, which is a bit of a disappointment. But you know what? The healing is good enough. The vast and multitudinous riches of both the surface and the underworld are hoarded by the river boatman, Charon, whose services are often tended to the wealthiest within Elysium. He really gets around. Charon confirmed hoarder. Oh, now it's a risk. You know what? Everything I said before, we'll get it. <laughs> Oh, and it's the worst fight! It's the worst fight, boys! It's the worst fight, boys! Oh! Yeah, we got it. We're fine. We're fine. Could have been a lot worse than it was. Could have been a lot worse than it was. <laughs> oh my mo- Oh my- It was so tough. That was so tough, guys. Oh! And we did- We did take a lot more damage than we should have over there, unfortunately. It is so hard. So hard, boys. Oh! Oh! God damn it. One dash. Oh man, all the damage. We're gonna die here, guys. This is why you never you never take that fight. Oh. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh. Okay. Good stuff. Really, really bad mistake going for that room. That's why you don't go for that room, guys. You do not go. All right, legendary. You have a barrier that negates an instance of damage. Oh, wow. You know what? I don't think in all my playtime I ever picked up Athena's divine protection. The legendary boon. That's interesting. That is really good. That is really strong. That is ridiculously strong, actually. Is that... that if we can stay alive... I mean, we can kite a bit now. If we can stay alive... 
I mean, I say that, and it's really going to be tough to do it. I mean, look at this room. Oh. Okay. We're looking good, though. We're looking good. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Get out of here. Get out of here. Throw one of these out. Uh, fine. It's okay. Could be a lot worse. Oh, damn it, man. I don't stand so still. Man, that's not even all of them. Oh, this is... This room does not look like fun. Nice. Okay. We didn't take the damage. Do we... Are we still... Oh. <laughs> this is knife's edge stuff, guys. Oh, man. Just too much stuff going on, boys. Green is going mad over here. Don't you dare disappear over there. Eight health left. This might be it, boys. Might be it. Oh, gonna die. Yes, he is. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. We're still alive. <laughs> and we got the health. Okay, okay. Right, more darkness. Got one instance of damage protection. If we can get... And we've got enough gold if, that if we can get a decent room with Charon and recover our health, we, we're in a good position. Great shields. I don't like great shields. I hate great shields. Play a little more conservative. Just while we can, right? There we go. Alright, so that's one down. First get rid of the witches. Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I still haven't taken any damage. Cannot believe I still haven't taken any damage. Okay, we're still good, we're still good. Get that out there. Oh, okay, good. Oh. oh, guys, this is no fun. <laughs> it's a completely different experience to when you have a lot more darkness on your character. Oh, you feel so weak. Kill him. Okay, right, we didn't take damage. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Good stuff. Right. Are we going to get to Asterius and his little short buddy? Theseus? Theseus Asterius? Oh, gosh. I can't, believe, I can't remember their names. Let's, let's hope for the best, Jay. If we get some healing, we stand a chance. Bless us, Charon. Yes, he did. Thank you very much, sir. Right, so we can't go for both of these. What do we go for? I think we get the incremental increase here in power. Even there in your underworld, it seems quality hunting gear doesn't come cheap, apparently. Okay, so after critical damage... To a foe, a foe near it is marked. Right? That's not bad. I don't like either of these. I'll take the 2% critical hit chance. Just because we, we're doing some decent attacks now. Any any incremental critical is, is going to help us out over here. Right. Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh, wow. It is Theseus. Not one more step toward the light of day, so long as I am here. Basically, Theseus is every guy on Reddit. Two against one. Seems hardly fair. Oh well. Let's kill him and be done, King. Theseus? The Bull of Minos? You two are legends. I'd be honored if we had a sporting contest here. Ah, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blaggard. And may the gods show you some mercy, for I shall not. Doesn't that sound like a top comment in Reddit, guys? Come on. That is a Redditor through and through. Let's go. Oh. We are going to struggle with one. 
we're going to definitely struggle with a single... Uh, with a single dash, like in these situations. We still good? Ugh. My word, we're like so lucky here. We still haven't taken a hit. Is he gonna come this way? Oh, <laughs> oh so lucky! Man, the fight takes so much longer when you have no abilities. Okay, so let's keep going. We got our healing back. I mean, our our one our one shot hit back. So we're still good. We're gonna actually win this, guys. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it. I really don't. Wanna, I don't want to curse it. Don't curse it. Don't curse it. Just fight. Shut up and fight. Don't curse. Don't curse. Okay. Oh, okay. We took the damage. Now we gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Let's just get it back. Let's just get it back. Let's not fuck around, guys. Not worthwhile. Not with the damage these guys do. Okay, we got it back now. Right. We good? We good? Okay, we took the damage again. Just, like, back off a bit. Okay, so we got the Minotaur down to half health. Still good, still good. Ugh. My word, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we still haven't taken any damage. Why do I keep wanting to curse this run, guys? <laughs> oh, I just keep saying we took no damage, took no damage, cursing the run. Okay. We're still good. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh. And we took the damage. Unfortunately, we almost done with the with the Minotaur. Man, it is. It is a long drawn out fight at this point, guys. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh. <laughs> I think we took some damage there. Oh, we didn't. We good, we good, we good, we good. Uh, did we take the damage? We took the damage. Damn it. Oh. Okay, we're still good. We're still winning, boys. We're still winning, boys. Barely, but we are winning. Ugh. Okay, go down! Go down! Yes! <laughs> Ugh. Okay, yeah, we took that heat. We took that damage, unfortunately. Oh! Okay, come on, come on, come on. You want to attack? Yeah, you do. Okay, keep doing the damage. We're good. Oh! Oh man, I don't like him when he's attacking like this. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna get his second stage attack. What are we getting? Okay, Artemis is not that bad of a boss to face. 
It really isn't that bad of a boss to face. You'll see why, because it, you can actually get away from her attacks. Of all of them, it's one of the, the most forgiving to end up having a fight against. Uh, uh. Yeah, we took that damage there. Okay. Oh, I took the damage, unfortunately. Oh. Man, God. <laughs> this is like a marathon. <laughs> I can't believe how long this is taking. Oh. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Yes. <laughs> Guys, my fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. My thumb, my index finger, my middle finger. All of them are paining. Thanks. We didn't even acknowledge the fan. What's wrong with us? Okay. There's a there's a fan in the stadium, the single Zagreus fan in the stadium, and I forgot to acknowledge her. That's annoying. Okay, let's get the healing back. Are we actually gonna get to Hades on our first run over here? That's gonna be pretty insane. Um I don't see why not. Let's pick up the, the passive the passive healing between chambers. Such a premium when you're in your first run. Healing usually is quite it's quite quite easy to heal generally. Plus you have your death defiances, which is basically a another life when you die. When you start increasing your character in the mirror of darkness. Which I'll show you guys afterwards. Right, so let's examine this. Ah, oh. we'll see about that. Love, absolutely love the narration. I want to keep showcasing that oh, good no, stuff. Not this. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. No, Cerberus. Cerberus a bad boy? So it's really come to this boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. <laughs> I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Sater problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone, my mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell barks once affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Oh dear. Let's go. Now I just need to head out the beaten path here. And the satyr, the satyr halls. This is usually quite tough. We're going to try and go for... What are we going for here? Hmm. You don't think you can get the Seder Sack on the first go, so we're going to try and avoid one of these tough rooms. As in, we're going to try and go for the two tough rooms in order to evade one of them with the Seder Sack. So basically how it works is, I think from room... From the, so you, you go through these pathways and come back here to the middle once you've gone to the end of the pathway. Where you fight a final boss room and then on the second or third you get a, you, you might end up with the Seder sack at the end which you give to Cerberus to fight Hades so the first room is always good to go with something that you can that you need and then you take the second and third rooms with the with the harder enemies so we're we're gonna start off I, I think with another boon from Artemis that'll be useful for us This is going to be quite a chore because we do not deal as much damage as perhaps we should. 
being such low darkness level at this point. There we go. We lost our, um, oh. There we go. Good stuff. Like I said, it's going to be tough fighting. Okay. Good stuff. Still going strong. Could be the final room now, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, we lost our... We lost our shield, unfortunately. Okay, we good. We still good. We still good. We good. Still good. Still good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, 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 uh. We are, we are fighting against some pretty ridiculous shit over here. Poisoned. Poisoned. And we managed to kill quickly. So that's good. Good spot. <sighs> Go with clean kill. Okay. This can get me out of here. Back to the middle. We are not going to have enough gold to pick something up. So now we start going for these rooms where we can get... We might get the Seder Sack early on. Well, taking damage. There we go. One down. Oh, 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 oh. Man, that was crazy. There we go. Another room down. Keep going. Hopefully we get the Seder Sack right away. And then we go straight to Hades, boys. We're not going to muck around. Another one down. Right. Okay. Fingers crossed. Seder Sack. No, sorry. One room too early still. Way too much damage there. Can I move, please? Thank you. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, fingers crossed. Say the sack. Say the sack. No, no. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's just a tiny vermin. Oh, no, it's not. Tiny vermin. Do not want to fuck with the tiny vermin. No. Uh, uh. We t we got our shield taken down. Yeah, this thing is going to kill us. It is so hard to kill. Uh, uh. And it keeps it keeps uh, summoning some of the worst enemies. Right, we're going to have to keep we're going to have to just keep kiting here, boys. This is not going to be fun. This is one of the worst bosses that you can get for the for the Seder rooms. Oh, oh damn, I forgot about that. Oh, he is going to kill us, boys. Unlucky. gonna come for us now okay 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 we're fine get out of here 
Uh, we got we took we took our healing out. Oh, we took our armor off, unfortunately. No, we are taking way too much damage, boys. There we go. <laughs> oh absolutely unfortunate to get the tiny vermin in that room. That was one of the hardest fights we could have hoped for. I'm home. Right. Guys. <clears throat> yes, carry on everyone. Don't mind me. Yes, don't mind me. I hope you absolutely loved what is the first run of Hades. Let me know, guys. Did you enjoy it? Do you want to see more of it? We're going to be back with some sweet, sweet Synthetic 2 tomorrow. Hopefully, the booster patch drops and we can get a look at some of the, the great changes. I had a look at the patch notes. Looks really good. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the content, guys. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. If you didn't, please leave a dislike, although you'll never know whether it registered. And <laughs> leave me a comment as well on things that I can improve on. I've been Flash Hazardous. This has been great. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.